There's a lot to Miles Garrett. The Aggie defensive end has a lot of life interests, but when it comes to football, it's actually quite simple. He is one of the most feared pass rushers in the country. Usually this is the last thing a quarterback wants to see, but we put our QB, Stephen McGee, face to face with him. Their discussion is brought to you by Regions Bank. Guess who? Miles Number Garrett. 50. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> it's just, you know, and it, it's not, you can't make it up. I mean, he just happens to be in the play almost every single play. How does a guy like you, with everybody singing your praises, all the press clippings that come with being Miles Garrett, how do you stay focused and hungry to get better? And just, you know, keep with my family. Uh, what they what they say, keep that in mind. You know, they always keep me grounded. You know, I always could go to them for advice. And my friends, they'll, they'll never, you know, blow my head up for me. And they love to, you know, tell me who I really am. And I mean, they show me my flaws, but they also, you know, tell me what, what I do right. And uh, just keep, you know, building on goals. Because until I reach them, then I haven't done enough. And after those are, you know, set and passed, keep on going. Because you, you'll never reach your limits. So you're an architecture major, you're a paleontologist, you love dinosaurs, mm -hmm. that's correct. Uh, you took a gardening class. There's a lot to you than just being a great football player. What's something that Aggie fans don't know about Miles Garrett that's unique or that's different off the wall, so to speak, that wouldn't expect? I never thought you'd be a dinosaur guy. I don't think anybody expected to be a dinosaur guy, <laughs> except for like my family, because they, they'd always seen it. You know, they sitting around the house. I, they probably seen Jurassic Park a hundred times just because of me. But uh, I don't know anything off the wall that I haven't said already. I, I love music. I love really old music from 50s up. Anything between 50s and 90s, I can listen to all day. And uh, can you play music? Can I play music? I used to be able to play percussion, anything from xylophone to snare drum. And I wasn't really a, a horn guy, but I always wanted to try the saxophone. <laughs> Being a quarterback in, my, in the past, I know the worst thing in the world is playing against a great pass rusher. We hate it. It makes third and long the worst down in football because there's not many left tackles that can block guys like yourself. And so the game plan was always we're going to slide the line to this guy. We're going to chip him with the back. Uh, we're going to do everything. We're going to run play action at this guy. We're going to run power. All that to say, this year, I know you got a lot of attention from offenses. What was the craziest thing an offense tried to do to slow you up? I went against uh, one of the best, Laramie Tunzel, let's yeah. talk from Ole Miss. And uh, I think the first real pass play they had, had a, a tight end, him. They both, you know, blocked down on me. And he was, you know, he had me on the left and a uh, tight end had me on the right. And uh, I struck the, the tight end off and then another halfback comes. And so I spin and then the guard comes and hits me from the left. So I, it, they just threw everything at me. <laughs> so you get John Chavis this year. Defense has gotten a lot better. What is John Chavis like in one sentence? Uh, passionate. Uh, he, he really you know, just loves you know, being around us and teaching us to be not just better players, but better men. And he's going to make you grow. He's going to make you work, but he's going to you know, build you into to what you're you know, made to be. On that note, he arrives with a lot of hype, but the defense really – by a lot of statistical measures, got better. What's one thing, as you look back on last year's defense, that you want to say, hey, we need to get a lot better at this, not only as an individual, uh, but as a collective group that y'all want to improve on? Just not faltering after a big play. That was the you know, main goal we had from last year. Cause I felt, we, we, we felt like after a big play, we kind of get down, and we, you know, we were pointing the finger. But this time, it was just, you know, it doesn't matter who, who you know, left the big play. It's, it's all, all of us, you know, because it's all of us together, you know, make big plays and all of us give up big plays. And so if we can just hold it together and, you know, do things as one, we can be great. Last question. Super Bowl MVP or paleontologist? Super Bowl MVP. Man. Super Bowl MVP. I can't say I've, I've always been a football fan growing up. 
I've always been a basketball fan, but paleontologist I've had since I can remember. So I, can, I gotta say paleontologist. It's <laughs> great. In 2015, Miles Garrett had 19 and a half tackles for lost yardage. The A&M defense as a whole made 111 stops behind the line of scrimmage, ranking them third in the country. With Garrett and a host of others back on that side of the ball, you have to like the Aggies' chances for disruption in 2016. We return after this.